Hi, I'm BB Wood. Hey, hi, hey. I'm Michelle Ferreira. Hi, I'm Mason Gooding. <laughs> and, I play Andrew. and hi, I'm Anthony Turpel. Hey, uh, I'm George Sear and I play Benji. Hi, my name is Rachel Hilson and I play Mia. Hi, I'm Michael Cimino. I play Victor Salazar. And today we're going to take a BuzzFeed quiz to see which love Victor character we are. First, how would your BFFs describe you? Loyal, friendly, bold, smart, creative, and impulsive. Um, I think like, I'm like two of these. You reckon? Which? So you're so you're impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's the like. T I think that kind of nudges all the others out. Come on, <laughs> I'm friendly too, though. You are very you're friendly. friendly. You hug you're people too. Definitely impulsive. I think I'm gonna just go with impulsive. Right, sure. I think you're like, I, I think you're friendly and loyal. Smart. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And I think George is like creative. That's what I'm going for. I'll go smart. You're smart, you're smart Rachel. Can you just answer this question for me? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say smart, bold. I, I would say that. I feel like with the amount of like things you do musically and like writing wise, creative. Creative. Is that I'm that. really making this hard for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just said all of them. I'll do creative. What do you guys think for you? Yeah, what about you, Mason? I think smart. Smart. I would say smart too. Aww. Also loyal. Aww. I would say loyal. Yeah, yeah, definitely say loyal. Uh, since you guys are my BFFs, I, I guess I'll say loyal. But that's what I was gonna say for for Bella was loyal. Loyal. So, yeah, definitely. I think, I think so too. You're very loyal, loyal, Bella. I'll put loyal then. Anthony, um, would you be offended if I if I said impulsive? Would that be bad if I? Do you think I'm impulsive? I'm you, impulsive you, you, too. You kind you of make bets impulsive. that you know you yeah. won't win. No, okay, won't. fine. I, I'll agree with that. Choose a rom com. Ten things I hate about you. The Wedding Singer. Sixteen Candles. When Harry Met Sally. Mm. The Big Sick. Mm. Or to all the boys I've loved before. Uh, I'm definitely um, 16 um, candles. I'm I'm between that and 10 things I hate about you. I don't know. I think um, I'll go with the big sick, honestly. And I definitely cried. It's all the boys I've loved before. I'll throw yeah, a curveball and say I'll say when Harry met Sally. So I'm a huge Molly Ringwald fan. So I think I'm gonna have it's either that or Her when Harry met Sally. But I think I'm gonna go with. 16 candles. I just see Adam Sandler on The Wedding Singer, so I'm gonna choose that one. I'm gonna say, <laughs> big love to Heath Ledger, 10 things I hate about you. Choose a class to attend. One, the science <laughs> of Harry Potter. Two, history of EDM. Three, feminism and pop music. Four, street fighting and physics. That's pretty cool. The art yeah. of, of the selfie or tree climbing 101. Tree climbing okay. 101, for sure. Cause that sounds no, like if you chose I street have... climbing, I'm going to choose street fighting. And then George has no option but to choose what he wants now. I mean, it's not going to be the art of the selfie. <laughs> uh, I, I'm tempted to say tree climbing because I have quite bowed legs. And apparently that means like your ancestors climbed a lot of trees. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm Imagine I'm just like, like everyone's like blowing up the comments like, that's not what that means. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to honor that for the time being and go tree climbing one. Yeah. Wait, street fighting and physics? <laughs> I'm taking that one. That one sounds yeah. sick. Yeah, I kind of want to do that one because it's cool, but I also, yeah. I feel like if I took feminism and pop Potter, music. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to choose that. Harry Potter. Do feminism and pop music. <laughs> See, I, that's so BB. I yeah. was gonna say, that's definitely BB. And I also I, like, know much about like modern pop music, so I feel like I could actually really yeah. need that. Like so, I need the class. But also yeah. tree climbing. I, I love a good tree climb, you know? Um, feminism and pop music, I feel like I eventually get to like a lot of artists I love, but street fighting and physics just makes me think of anime. Which makes me really happy. Ooh. I'm going feminism and pop music. Which Love Simon character would you trust with a secret? Uh, Simon Spear, Bram Greenfield, Emily Spear, Cal Price, Leah Burke, or Mr. Worth? I think I know already. I, I would choose Bram. I just, most trustworthy, I don't know. If I'm being honest, like, Simon's friends did not react the best. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I feel like things would start spreading. I don't know. It just, Bram's the most trustworthy, period. I'm going to go Emily because she's a therapist, and I think legally she has to keep my secrets. Bella, what are you thinking? I think I'm just gonna go with Simon. I think that's a good idea. I just worry that my love of Simon is inciting my decision. So I'll go the polar opposite and say Mr. Worth because I love him he and so he funny. makes me laugh. 
I feel like Mr. Worth is probably really easy to talk to, but I wouldn't trust him with a secret, you know? I yeah. love Simon's mom. Yeah. I also love Bram. But I'm gonna go with Jennifer Garner. I think I'm gonna go with Emily Spear. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not always trust like, a mom. I want to go with that as well. For me personally, I'm gonna go with Bram. Choose something important from Love Victor. Stoplight party. DJ F bomb. <laughs> uh, tres leches kicks. Trattoria di Benji. Creek secrets or the Ferris wheel. Can we just like mention how I'm devastated? I never saw Anthony in the DJ F bomb suit. Like, yeah. Rachel and I never saw him in that costume I, I ever. Even, I didn't. I didn't even see the costume. I, I really liked the cakes. Mm. I just I had a connection to them. When we were, I, I like. I think I'm gonna go with the Tres Leches cakes. Here, George, you go first. Well, yeah, we had a good time in the Ferris wheel. We did. We all did. I think I'm gonna choose DJ F bomb just for the memes. I'm gonna go for yeah, the Ferris wheel. Yeah, why not? I'm going DJ F bomb. No, I wonder you why. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Something important. It's always gonna be DJ F bomb. Fun fact: uh, the tr the Tris Leches cake. Uh, on set was actually vegan and that really touched my heart that they went that extra mile to accommodate to Michael and his veganism. Love so that. I'm gonna pick the Tres Leches. The Ferris wheel is very iconic, so I'm gonna go with that. I think mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna join with Anthony here and say DJ F bomb. Choose a TV couple. Cheryl and Tony from Riverdale, David and Patrick from Schitt's Creek, Alina and Sid from One Day at a Time, Magnus and Alec from Shadow Hunters, Callie and Arizona from Grey's Anatomy, and Kurt and Blaine from Glee. Oh boy, I, I have a show. Elena and Sid from One Day at a Time, because that's the best show. I would definitely say Kurt and Blaine from Glee, because that was the first time I had like questioned my sexuality so deeply because of Tommy. <laughs> or I'll say Kurt and Blaine from Glee, because I, I love Dan Chris. I'm gonna go Magnus and Alec from Shadow Hunters. Uh, I'm gonna go one day at a time to rep James. I'm watching Glee right now, so immediately my eye goes to Curtin Blaine. I also like Cali in Arizona from Grey's Anatomy, though. Um, I'm gonna go Cali in Arizona. My parents are watching Shit's Creek right now, so I'm gonna go with David and Patrick. I think I'm gonna go with Curtin Blaine from Glee. Finally, <laughs> choose something to binge watch on Hulu. Little Fires Everywhere, Shrill, Rami, Normal People, Pen15, or Looking for Alaska. Oh, this is a hard one. Pen15 is really good. My friend Dallas is in that show, so shout out to Dallas. I'm honest, I'm gonna have to go with Pen15. I feel like I'm gonna leave normal people to you, George, because you're like the Euro the Euro European <laughs> in here. And that's like, it's a really good show. So I'm it gonna say really Little Fires. So yeah, I'll go with that. I mean, okay, already 100% Rami. I've been telling y'all to watch Rami for ages. Um, she has been doing that. She has been telling us to watch yeah. that for ages. Yes, she has. I'm gonna go with Little Fires Everywhere. Uh, I'm going Normal People, because I like the accent. I'm also gonna pick Little Fires Everywhere, because that's the only one I haven't watched yet. Hey! I got Mia. <laughs> <laughs> I got Victor. No way! <laughs> oh, interesting. I got Felix. Yeah. You got Felix? Yeah. I can see I that. Felix. Yeah, I can see that as well. I got Felix. No oh, way, really? Yeah. <laughs> I got Victor, my brother. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Good yeah. choice. I got no. Andrew. Hey, hey! Oh, yeah! I got Mia, funnily enough. Good. Which I oh, really I love yeah. that. It says, uh, my personality matches Mia. You're creative, intelligent, and loving. You're an all around great per Oh, Mia is a great person. That definitely fits Mia. That, <laughs> that definitely yeah, fits, that you. fits you too, that yeah. Your personality matches Felix. Like Felix, you're super enthusiastic and ready for almost anything. <laughs> it says, your personality matches Victor. You're smart, open-minded, and a bit of an introvert. While at times you might feel a little lost, you've realized that you're at your absolute best when you're stay true to yourself. Aww. I think that Do fits I you. Fire with that? Is that about right? I think so, yeah. Your personality matches Andrew. You're dependable, impulsive, and a natural born leader. While some might find you intimidating, which happens a lot, deep <laughs> down you have a heart of gold, which is also true. They nailed it. Your personality matches Mia. 
You're creative, wow. intelligent, loving. Like Mia, you have a hard time opening up to people. You're an all around great person and people just wish they could be as cool as you. Which, Which is, is true. I wish I was as cool as you, Rachel. <laughs> Your personality matches Victor. While at times you might feel a little lost, you've realized that you're at your absolute best when you stay true to yourself, which is which is a true statement. Your personality matches Felix. You're loyal, fun, and understanding. You're not always the best at first impressions, but once people get to know you, they can't help but love you. I think that's true, honestly. <laughs> that's actually pretty accurate, yeah. <laughs>